Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm gonna explain the difference between queue and export in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's say we've got our sample project open, and for some reason you have a workflow where you're not just exporting everything straight through, and you wanna export different bits and pieces or sequences as their own video clips. If you need to select multiple sections from the same sequence, like in this example, you can go through and press I to create an endpoint and O to create an out point around those sections. So I'd go to File, Export, Media. Now normally when you're just exporting a video and you hit export, it'll just start encoding and rendering out in whatever settings that you've chosen. And you gotta wait here and the final video will be wherever you set it to be, like your desktop. But let's say like a case like this, you wanted to export like a dozen different things in a row and you didn't want to just sit here while you're waiting in between each because you can't do anything while it's exporting and you wanted to just line them up and do them all in a batch that's where q comes in handy so i can just add this in and out sequence and all these settings to a q and then it'll open up a program called adobe media encoder and you can see everything that you've added to the q so far and then once you're ready just press play and it'll just rip through them and you can go to sleep, go grab lunch or whatever, and you don't have to wait in between each export to press export settings again and do it all. So this is a way to batch them. And another very useful thing about this is you can quickly adjust settings, but keep all the same in and out points and little sections and sequences without having to redo them over and over. Or you could always just batch different versions and resolutions if you need to deliver a file in multiple ways by even duplicating items in your queue and doing one version in one resolution and one in the other. You can quickly adjust the name and the type and everything like that. And while things are exporting in Media Encoder, you can still go back to Premiere and be working and doing things in other sequences. So those are some of the benefits and workflows of exporting with Q. Now, nine times out of 10, I'm normally just pressing export because I'm just exporting one sequence, but there are those occasions where you need to do multiple things and it's good to know what Q is and when you can use it in your workflows. So if you guys want more basic instructions on all of these different basic formats, I do have a basic intro video on how to export just kind of goes over what these different menus are and definitely subscribe to my channel and to stay tuned for future videos where I might go over further things. Follow me on social media at Justin Odie Show on Instagram and Twitter. It's the best place to reach out to me. And if you're actually looking for the final result of these Super 8 films, I do have them available for sale now on my website. So you can check out the final product and use them in your own projects. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.